Okay, so we're going to work with time code in logic. First of all, we're going to customize our toolbar to make sure that it's going to show time code. So we just right click up at the top there. And now there's our time code. If we click on the clock, we can get the giant time code bar that we so we can look up and make sure that everything uh, syncs up properly. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to go to project settings, synchronization. And this is where all of our um, time code operations are going to uh, live inside of logic 10. This is identical to logic 9. So here's our sync mode, frame rate. It always is going to give you different options. So make sure you check those in the movie. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. <clears throat> So if we open up our movie in QuickTime, there's in the under the window it says movie inspector. That gives us the frame rate uh, frames per second. So it's 29.97. So if we go and we find 29.97, there we go. That's our frame rate. Now it's gonna say it plays at SMPTE time but we notice that our time actually doesn't start at zero. So we're going to do what's called an offset. This is going to be where we have different um, numbers, essentially, that correspond to frames, seconds, minutes, and hours, respectively. And uh, Logic 10 now uses subframes. All right, we go to the clock. We view the offset. That way, when we're looking um, at both the clock and the video should sync up. It looks like the top clock does, but the bottom clock does not. So we'll set it also to view the offset. All right, now we go to the beginning and it's pretty much synced. So we can watch the numbers click by, make sure that it's when we stop it. Now you're gonna notice that this has subframes and our time code burn does not. So as we get down, you might start to see that it looks slightly off. And let's just see where we're at at the end. Let's go back. There we go. Pause it. Okay. So notice how we're two frames off. Now, that's not because of subframes. That's because of something else. If we go back to our uh, synchronization settings, okay, and we go to our frame rate, you'll see that there's a thing that says 29.97D. And that means drop frame. And that is uh, more than what this video is designed to talk about. But that actually helps us sync up certain videos. And you'll notice the drop frames push us over into the next frame. So that things are going to look slightly off. But otherwise, we're pretty much sync locked now on this film. So we're good to go.